This is a cool room. This is just beautiful. Yeah, I was telling you in the back. This is almost too much for what's happening. I feel like whoever set up the chairs got overexcited. <laughs> they were like, we need more. There's gonna be a lot of people here tonight. And everybody else was like, no, there's not. We have shit to do. <laughs> we have things to do. This room is like, I feel like this should not be I mean, underdressed. I'm not, I'm not ready for like that, and then the chandeliers, and then the one fireplace in the back for no reason, to heat up the biggest room of all time. And then this, just in case we want to put on a production of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> I feel like I should just be officiating a wedding. That's what this room makes me feel like. That's what has to happen. If somebody doesn't get married tonight, we failed as a group. We're in this together. Some of you are looking at me right now and like, this is my show and I'm supposed to, no, there's 12 of us <laughs> in here, okay? This is a PTA meeting. All right, we're trying to recruit members and then get the hell out of here. <laughs> Go live our lives. Do we have couples in the crowd? Yeah, oh, <laughs> that's the best. I love when I ask if there's a couple, the dude raises his hand and the girl goes, no. <laughs> We're not together tonight. Been together for four years. Tonight we're taking a break. It's Wednesday and then tomorrow we'll hop back on it. How long? Almost a year. Almost a year? Okay, that's great. That is, that's good. You guys met here? Uh, yeah, the Red Center. Where? The Red Center? What's that? Is that on campus? Oh, the gym. <laughs> you guys are treating me like I'm an idiot. The gym, Sam. <laughs> you dumbass. <laughs> you don't know what words are. <laughs> What's a red center? Uh, that's cool. I you, you beat her in basketball? Oh. <laughs> oh <my. laughs> Yo, this is why you're not in a relationship anymore. You can't say those kind of things. <laughs> So I beat her ass in basketball. That's why we broke up today. Yeah. What's the hardest part? The hard, what's the hardest part? Uh, like life? <laughs> is, that, <laughs> is that the deepest question I've ever had? <laughs> what does it all mean? Huh, Sam? What does it all mean? <laughs> the fireplace just lights up. I gotta get the hell out of here. Not ready for this <laughs> slam poetry night. The hardest part about oh having friends. Oh, okay. You could have finished it with that. You guys don't have to be scared to say the word Tourette's. I don't like freak out and just blow up. Tourette's. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, hardest part about having Tourette's is getting other people to say the word Tourette's. No, is uh, talking to other people with Tourette's. No, that's true, but look, um, that is true, it's impossible. People with Tourette's try to be my friend and then we both start twitching a bunch and I'm like, look, this is bringing flashbacks of Tourette's, can't we get to leave? You go that way, I go this way. Let's just be pen pals, I can't talk to you in person. What's the best and worst thing about living in California? That's the worst thing about living in California? I'm from Los Angeles, I live in uh, New York now, New York City, but that's the worst thing. Best thing is the weather, worst thing is the traffic. Uh, I also like the crazy people, like homeless crazy people who like talk to trees and shit. That shit makes me feel better. <laughs> it's like, when I walk by, like I'm twitching and people look at me weird, but if there's a dude talking to a tree, I just hang out with him and people are like, who's that weirdo? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> That's what I love about this audience. I don't know who's here to watch the show and who's just a photographer. I'm still trying to figure it out. Every time I look up, a new person's like, shh, 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 shh. They don't do that. I don't know why I did that. I feel like if it was a photographer, I would do like a lot more cool shit. <laughs> like this seems like regular. You know what I mean? If you're in your field, you gotta do something different. Like for me in my field, having Tourette syndrome separates me from people. If I was a photographer, I'd just be like, they be like, oh shit, that's Sam Conroe. Who's Sam Conroe? The photographer that always lunges. <laughs> <laughs> but 
only to the right. It's this thing, I don't know, but he captures beautiful pictures, but only for people on this side. Nobody who is photographed. It's a special image. All right, if you don't laugh at that, leave. That's improv, and that's really hard to do. I feel like every time I do a great joke, a curtain should open, and somebody should wave at me. <laughs> Yo, this is the weirdest. Why are there 57 exits in this room? <laughs> Who created this room and was like, you know what we need more of? Exits. How about one behind the stage too, just in case the comedian wants to do a dramatic trust fall out of the room. And then just when you think he's gone, he becomes the photographer you've all known to love. <laughs> ah! There's another one behind it. You have to walk through this exit, and then when you think you're out, you're like, thank God I'm out of that crazy room. They're like, no, keep walking. This is the Russian doll set of exits. I feel like you never leave this school. Is this how you guys trap performers here? And then they have to live in these rooms forever. That's why you close it. If you open it, I just see one of my friends. Oh my god, Chris. I forgot you came to Emporia State four years ago. I never forgot Get out, too. And what's this for? Do people go up here? For what? To fight? <laughs> Yo, this is your octagon? That's crazy. For what? What do we love you for? <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> that would be my space. I could feel the energy. As a guy who's never done photography, I feel like that would be the best place to really get a good picture of that wall. Why did you start doing comedy? Why did I start doing comedy? All right. <laughs> well, that's rude. Look, um, <laughs> any other questions will be appreciated right now. <laughs> Why are you doing what you're doing to us? <laughs> just stop it. I started, uh, I just, I tried out in high school. My friends told me I should try it. And then I, I went up on stage one time and uh, I fell in love with it. Yeah. I got that first laugh and I was like, this is what I want to do. And if this doesn't work out, probably photography. <laughs> Can I actually be boss? Uh, yeah, yeah, hit it. Boots and cats and 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 let the beat try. No, I can't. Can you? No? Oh, uh, you said it like you were gonna challenge me. Not tonight? Oh, but you can. Okay. Alright, we don't have to. It'd be a cool way to end the show. Alright. Oh, sure. We must have a battle. I don't know. Good luck, you guys. I don't know. When I get challenged, I boots and cats really fast. So, good luck. If you feel it, let me know. I'm not gonna, I'll not i make you come up here. You're not? Okay. Just so you know, this school has a rule where if you know how to beatbox, you get to go up there and do it. Silly rule, silly rule that they have. But you get to and all these meeting rooms are yours now. Silly rule. Just so you know. And we named this ballroom after you. It's a stupid rule, but if you want to be Foxy you can. I love you guys so much, and I would only love you even more if we can end the show with you beatboxing, and then every one of you leaving through a different exit. <laughs> We're not leaving until you beatbox, is my rule. It's my new rule. Sorry. I'm contractually obligated to go until you be box. Well, I don't have anything to do till Sunday. I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna put you on the spot.
one if you do beatbox. You get to take one of the chandeliers home. <laughs> Stupid rule that the school has. Dumb rule. It's not my idea, but that is a rule. Right. And you get his camera. Rule that he just made up. Right? Did you wink at me? He also has Tourette's. <laughs> yeah, I've never winked at somebody. I saw, I don't like, like, winking is not like a cool thing, right? It's like a creepy thing to, like, wink at a person. Like, in any situation. Yeah, can I get fries with that? <laughs> uh, what else does he want? It always means he wants something more and it's gross. It's not a good feeling. I also don't like when guys do this, they just. I hate that shit. Because you try to be cool and it's. A guy did that to me at the airport. I was walking to my gate and then he was with this girl. And he did it the worst, most like. Douchey type of, he grabbed her butt. And then I just saw him coming here. He's throwing that seat, he grabbed her butt, he looked over his shoulder, and he was like. <laughs> and I knew he was trying to be cool, and when I'm put in those situations, I like to make that situation as silly as possible to make him feel as uncool as possible. And he grabbed her butt, and he was like. <laughs> and I was just like, no! Box. The show doesn't end. 